starting to work on my dump truck you can see that these gussets are shot so I've started cleaning this out and I've knocked all this out and I'm going to replace the steel on this side here with a panel and then a two panel and then a third panel and then I have to come up on the inside of the truck here and I have to replace the inside panel down so it's going to be a process you can see both sides are pretty shot so the bed is nice but the gussets on the other side are just about as bad you can see so we're going to get this done now we need this truck so
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put an eighth inch plate four inches wide all the way up through here. Then I'm going to cut these tubes in half and make new gussets for these two areas. I'm going to lay a plate here inside this weld and weld it on on both of these. And then these are going to go over and set on that plate and come up and gusset out. I've got this steel ready to cut to fabricate the back of my dump box on my dump truck. I've clamped my pipe on in the center out there. I've set it up. I ran a chalk line to make sure that I'm straight and it's time to cut it. That's the first cut. Now we got to move back and cut one for the inside of the box. This time I'm going to just use my drag shield. I've devised a new plan. I'm going to use this quarter inch plate as a guide and we'll see how that works. So let's cut out this four inch piece we need for the other side of the dump. That's it for the long cutting. Now we got to cut some shorter pieces for plate and uh, weld some of this in. Let's do that. I'm going to cut this piece to length. Got my square set up and a guide piece, and I'm just going to use the uh, drag shield for this cut. These are the pieces <clears throat> that I'm going to end up using for making my plates here, as you can see. So I'll have to cut and fit these after I get this plate welded in here. Let's see how this panel fits. I kind of got it up in there. So let's see what we got. If it's okay and we're looking good, I'm going to weld it in. Ah, that looks awesome. I think we're set. This 
is six by six tubing and I had them cut it eight inches long and this is going to be the gusset material for the dump and I have to cut it I've already laid it out and I've got it exactly where I want it so we're going to use the plasma cutter and cut this in half here and in half here Now, this one's a little bit bigger because I'm going to have to recut that because this is the way I want it. This is the size I want here. These I'm cutting out to plate where my gussets are going to go. I'll weld these on first after I grind them and get them right and then the gusset will fit and set on those. big advantage is to having a good steel top on your welding table. You can actually ground to it, set anything on it, and weld or cut. And it works awesome. I'm cutting out the gussets for the side of the dump truck right now. I got one almost done and I'm working on the second one. <laughs> Check this one. Right on. Okay, this is the one that I have done. See how they fit. That one is very close. This top here has got to be ground down a little bit, and that'll let it go up and in a little bit, and that'll be it. That one is real close. Let's check this one. Thank you. 
this one's the same way. This side here's got to be ground down a little bit, and that'll let that go up and in. And I think we'll be set. So let's grind these, get these welded in. Gonna take this over on my stone grinder and grind the bottom here a little bit. This one fits fine. It's well made. I've run into a small snag here up in this area right here there's not enough good material to weld to to the truck I managed to get a weld there but it's not enough to hold this panel so what we're going to do to fix this problem is to put a channel in there and then weld the channel up here and down here. That should solve the problem. There's enough good metal up here to weld it. And we're going to do it here. Here as well. You can see that's going to work good. So uh, let's get started on that.
tacked in on this side. Now I'm going to finish here. I'm going to weld these plates on here and here. And then make my gusset with this. So uh, that's next. Got this cleaned off. Now I need to measure in two and a half inches and make my cuts. Plasma cutter works awesome. Okay, my plates need to be six inches long. And I'll just go end to end with it, and that'll make it easier. Grind these edges a little bit here, and we'll put these in right here. Good enough. We'll hit this one a little bit right there. That one's fine. Now it's time to weld these in.
choose right Maybe you can sleep at night And if you don't, well maybe not And if you live well Maybe there's someone to tell Of all the things you haven't got What can one man do To make these words ring true Sing me a song Sing it with passion Poetic justice is its name Sing me a tune one go out of fashion Something to help me with this pain If you need to Try another point of view It might just be a better choice And ever after The only thing that matters Got a problem here where this panel bows out. So I've got a plan to fix it and get it back to it. So let's do that. I've got to put this on anyway, so I'm going to use this to pry against. Sing me a song. Sing it with passion. Sing me 
One last thing I wanted to mention before I end this video <clears throat> is this welding table that I put together has been truly exceptional. I've cut a lot of steel on this as you've seen. I've welded. It's just been fabulous. It's something I really needed and I'm really happy that I did. So check out that video, Modifying a Welding Table. And thanks for watching.